Hi everyone, welcome to your twist and shout voice practice. We've got a really fun one today. It is a virtual trip to London, England. So get your uh, fake virtual passports, buckle your seatbelts, and we'll get going today. Remember the focus today is on really, really enunciating. Uh, take the time, slow down, and over articulate every single sound. So try to do it just like I do it and we'll get lots of practice in today. Okay, here we go with our warm up. These are our vowel sounds. We're going to add a consonant to the beginning of each one. The first one is the B. So let's say it together, really moving the mouth muscles in as big a way as possible. Here we go. B. Bay, ba, bo, boo. So still thinking about launching that voice up and over top of your screen, but making those mouth movements really, really exaggerated. The next one is the F sound. Here we go. Fee, fe. Fa, fo, fu. And the next one, that back sound, that k, k, really good for back of tongue uh, swallow function. Ki, k, ka, ko. And the next sound is N. Knee, nay, na, no, nu. And just a couple more. The R sound. Re, re, ra. The Y sound. Ye, yay, ya, yo, you. Okay, now for some vocal amplitude exercise. Let's do two ahs for 10 seconds each. So I'll set the timer and we're going to project that voice up and over top of your screen, thinking about launching the voice forward. Here we go, big breath. Ah. Keep it going, keep it strong. Two seconds left. Good, remember to grab a sip of water whenever you need it. Here's the second one, ready? Ah, uh, halfway there, keep it going, keep it strong. Good voice quality. Okay, now on to the second sound. Let's do two rounds of O, oh, 10 seconds at a time. Here we go. O, oh, keep it strong, up and over top of your screen. Two more seconds. Good. And let's do one more just like that. Nice big breath, sitting tall, think posture, chest lifted. Oh, launching the voice up and over top of that net or that screen. Whatever visual works best for you. And lastly, Two on the E. Nice big breath. E. Smile as widely as you can as you launch that E forward. Show me all your teeth. Good. And one more. Make this a good one. Nice big belly breath. E. Five 
five more seconds. Keep it strong. Keep it even. Okay, on to our pitch exercise. We'll go through those same vowel sounds. Bring it up, glide or step it up to the top. Take a breath at the top and then bring it back down. And we'll do these sort of medium pace, not too fast, but not too slow and prolonged. So do it just like me. Here we go. Ah. Take a good breath at the top. Ah. Good. We'll do one more like that, two, two at a time. Here we go. Ah. Take a breath. Ah. And we'll do two on the O. Here we go. Oh. Take a breath. Oh. And one more. Here we go. Oh. Oh. And of course, two on that E sound. Nice big belly breath. Project that voice. E. Take a breath. E. And let's do one more. E. Breath at the top. E. Good. Okay. Grab a sip of water and we'll move along. So this is a British tongue twister for our London theme. Uh, so remember, the focus is on over articulation. We'll also get a bit of rhythm practice with this one as well. It has a really good beat to it once you get going. But I'll say the first line, you can try to say it with me, but then I'll give you a chance to say it again a second time on your own. So say it with me the first time if you want. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. You say it. And keep in mind, you can always pause this video if I'm going a little too fast and you need a bit more time. Next line, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red, Jam, black, bread. Spread it thicker. Say it quicker. Remember, we're really punching out every sound. Say every sound. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. Now repeat it while you eat it. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black 
spread. So now that we've gotten used to the poem, we know the words a little bit better, we can enunciate quite clearly, let's go through it uh, one more time all in a row and see if we can really keep up that good articulation while we maintain a nice rhythmic pace. We won't go too fast, but we'll keep it nice and rhythmic. So say it with me and try to do the pace that I'm doing. If it's just not working for you, hit the pause button, do it on your own at a pace that works for you, but is still very rhythmic, okay? Let's give it a go. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. Spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. Spread it thicker, say it quicker. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. Now repeat it while you eat it. Last line. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. How did you do with that one? Okay, moving on to the London, England travel portion of our twist and shout practice. So these are just some functional phrases you would say in preparation for your trip. So make sure you take the time to really articulate and keep that voice nice, loud, and clear. So I'll say it once, you repeat after me, or you can say it twice. What time do we leave for the airport? Pack an umbrella. Bring comfortable walking shoes. Let's put the medications in our carry-on bag. Did you print our boarding passes? Is there a fee for an additional bag? The flight is on time. The security line looks long. Would you like the window seat? I can't wait to see Buckingham Palace. So here we have our boarding pass to go to London, England. I'm going to ask you some questions. Answer clearly and loudly. If you can only manage short utterances, just say the necessary information. If you can manage longer sentences, make your answer into a complete sentence, okay? First one, what is the date of our flight? Where are we flying from? What is the seat number?
What time do we board? What is the gate number? Okay, now we've arrived in London and I'm going to just get rid of my picture so you can see the entire map. Okay, if you need extra time to answer some of these questions, just hit the pause button whenever you need to. So the first question is, remember, answer loud and clear. If we took a boat ride along the Thames River, what are some of the attractions that you would see along the way? So this is our path. Boat ride along the river. Tell me what you would see. Don't forget to hit pause if you need more time. Okay, tell me the directions as specifically as you can in a nice, loud, clear, well-paced voice if you wanted to go from Buckingham Palace to Madame Tussauds Planetarium. Okay, tell me the directions that you would go if you wanted to go from Marble Arch here to St. Paul's Cathedral. And there can be more than one answer. Okay, and lastly, maybe you've been to London, maybe you haven't, but tell me loudly and clearly what would be the attractions that would interest you most in coming to this area of London, England, and why? Again, always hit pause if you need more time. Okay, we have done a great practice today, but if you still have it in you, you could do three to five minutes of reading out loud any material you like uh, using that really, really exaggerated articulation and that nice up and over the net voice to be loud and clear. That's one of the best exercises that you can do. And in fact, if you can't manage to get to one of these sessions every single day, try at least to do three to five minutes of just reading in a nice, loud, clear voice. That's really, really a good exercise to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our virtual trip to London, England, and I will see you next time. Take care.